I'm Dina Moses from Vermont Moving Supplies, and this is one of a series of videos on hand manipulated lace techniques. It goes along with the June 2021 um, club rigid heddle kit, but it's a great technique to use anywhere, anytime. Um, this is Danish medallion that we're going to do. Um, and if you have the pattern, I wrote that I didn't love the way my Danish medallion came out, um, but I'm going to show you the technique and, and I'm using a much heavier weft thread just for this demonstration so that you can really see what's going on. Um, you are going to need a crochet hook. Now in an ideal world, your crochet hook would be smaller and daintier, like a smaller tip. Um, but my house has this weird thing with crochet hooks where it eats them up, like every single crochet hook it'll eat up, and then all of a sudden a month later it will regurgitate them all and there will be crochet hooks everywhere for a little while and then they'll all be gone again. So we are definitely in that phase where the house has eaten all the crochet hooks except for this big one, so that's what we're going to work with. Um, again, like the other techniques, you want to decide how big your, um, your medallion's going to be, and I'm going to make them fairly big. I'm going to do your, your, um, your shed, your, your heddle is in the up position, right? And my last row was in the down position, right? So this is where I would naturally be going next. And I'm going to take my shuttle and I'm going to do this in, with six up threads. That's actually an inch, right? Cause there's also those six down threads. And I'm going to put my shuttle through those six up threads. so that it's just kind of right there. And then I'm gonna go into the fabric, and again, this is about how big you want this. I'm gonna go down four rows, not including the row that I'm on. I'm gonna push that crochet hook down here. With the crochet hook, I'm gonna grab the weft thread that's active, and I'm gonna pull it up through that hole. And then I've got this loop, and I'm gonna put the shuttle through the loop. Um, and I have an extra loop there that I don't want. There we go. And there's the little medallion. So let's do that again. Okay. Three, six. Here's the shuttle. It's going in the shed for those six threads. Now I'm going down one, two, three, four rows right into that hole there. I'm grabbing the left thread, the crochet hook, pulling it up. Right, so I've got that nice loop here, and then I'm putting the shuttle through and pulling it tight. Again, three, six, in. There's that, you know, it's in between, whoops, nope, it's right where this weft is coming out. Four rows down, push that hook down there. I have done this at times when my um, house devoured all of my crochet hooks and I couldn't find anything at all. I'm lucky to have found this one. Um, I've done this using threading hooks, like loom threading hooks, but it's easier with a fine dainty crochet hook. I've also seen this done where it's a different color, two, three, four. So you put in one weft thread that's a different color four rows down here, and then you let it sit there um, for a few rows with your regular weft thread, and then you pick it up again to do this. So those little, um, kind of these are bordered with a different color thread. I've also seen it done, and I think it's more typically done where you don't pull quite so tight. Um, and especially when it's done in a different color, you might want, so it's like that. But I don't love the look of that. I actually like having these little ovals here.
You know, and these techniques can take a while to do, but when the rest of your piece is a plain weave that goes pretty fast, and you just put a little line of something, some kind of hand manipulated lace on one end or the other, or a couple times in the middle, it can really make a piece. Yeah, I just love the way those ovals look. Oops. Like somebody should be in the background telling a joke. Or perhaps the cats would, you know, do something very silly right now. But they don't perform on demand. Okay, we're getting to the end here. And I'm just going to go right to the end and leave that. It's going to match the other side. Um, and I'll just beat it lightly into place. And I'm down shed. Let's do a few more rows just to see what it looks like. that may be part of the trick is just not beating too hard on the next row so that you really do see the ovals and I think in my samples what I did was I put really hard on this row so that it, all you had was like little circles let's do a few more rows There you go, and there you have your Danish medallions. And thank you for watching, and thanks for joining me.